Good evening. Sorry for the delay in starting this evening, but we had some technical issues, but we're here now. So I'd like to welcome you to meeting number 4488. Um, today is the 26th of October 2020. Good evening. Sorry for the delay in starting this evening, but we have some technical issues, but we're here now. So I'd like to welcome you to meeting number 488. Today is the 26th of October 2020. Uh, we seem to still have a technical problem. Just bear with us for a moment to re rectify that. Is it okay? All right. Okay, so I'd like to start the meeting now with an acknowledgement of country. I would like to show my respect and acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land of Elders past, present and emerging on which this meeting takes place. We thank you, Lord, for the honour of being called by our fellow citizens to this office of honour and trust. Give us grace diligently and honourably, free from private interest or prejudice, to discharge the duties entrusted to us, to the common good and as in your sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Right, uh, attendance, we have all councillors uh, present this evening, so there's no apologies. Declarations of interest. Councillor Sanderson, Deputy Mayor. Thank you, Mr Mayor. At item 4.4 uh, of the business paper, in relation to Reby Road, uh, changes to parking restrictions, a property owned by me, which is my principal place of residence, is one of 17 residences uh, which are accessed by part of Reby Road, to the north of the recently uh, modified uh, traffic islands at the intersection of the intercept with uh, the avenue. Consistently with the decision of the local uh, government pecuniary interest tribunal uh, number three uh, slash uh, uh, 1995 ward, there, are no, there is no pecuniary interest uh, in, as a change in traffic conditions, which by and large uh, formalised existing parking practice will not have uh, the effect on the value of residential property. With respect to non-pecuniary interest, under the Huntersville Council Code of Conduct, Clause uh, 5.9F, an interest is not as significant uh, if it is one conferred or lost as a member of a class or a, or a member of a community or a broader class of people affected by a decision. Any interest I have in this matter is an interest as a member of a community shared with others who are similarly affected. Uh, and uh, I regard any perceived uh, in conflict as being outweighed by my duty as a councillor to represent the community views on this matter about which I'm well informed. Has that uh, uh, declaration been provided so it can be incorporated in the minutes? That's right, Mr Mayor. I, I, I... Yeah, okay, so we've captured that. Um, any further declarations for this evening's meeting? If not, we'll now move on to confirmation of the minutes of Ordinary meeting 4487 held on the 12th of October, 2020. Councillor McLaughlin has moved. Is there a second? Councillor Collins, is there any discussion? Councillor Sanderson. Yes, Mr. Mayor, there's a very significant uh, correction needs to be made. If we turn to page two of the, uh, the minutes uh, in item 4.3, uh, there's a, a record of voting which should be deleted no voting took place at the meeting at that particular point of time. Okay. Um, uh, righto, we'll, we'll, we'll make that modification if there's no concerns about that. Any other comments in relation to the minutes? If not, I'll put the motion. All those in favour? Against? Declare it carried. We now move on to the first item in the business paper, which is... 4.1. Just so we're all aware, there are no um, uh, speakers for this evening's uh, agenda. Councillor Collins, I think you moved it, did you? Or uh, yeah, I moved yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. No, so Miles is the seconder. No, no, he's, he's the mover. I'm the seconder. I think. Right. Yeah. Well, Councillor Miles is the mover and Councillor Collins second the motion. <clears throat> is, uh, do you wish to speak to your motion, Councillor Miles? Uh, mm. Only to say, I guess, um, Mr. Mayor, that we seem to be tracking um, quite well, and to, to uh, just thank the staff for all the work on this because it's um, obviously a large body of work, uh, and the delivery program seems to be sort of headed on the right track. 
which is great. It's, it's a testament to the, the work of the staff. Uh, is there any speakers against? Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> I might just, if I may... Um, uh, speakers for Councillor Collins. I just maybe just want to highlight, um, I noticed here that uh, DA processing times have uh, gone from 90 days to 60 days, which I think is, um, uh, yeah, very, very positive. So well done. I know that wouldn't be easy. So. <laughs> okay. Any further, uh, Councillor Sanderson? Do you wish to speak for or against? Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I, I don't necessarily want to speak for uh, or against. I do have some concerns about it, which I think we uh, need to discuss at this meeting if we could. Um, concerns? Could you well, clarify? Is it, well, is it a lengthy process or just a short process? Well, uh, I'm happy to be limited to five minutes that I would normally be allowed in debate. Well, I think... If you're speaking for the motion, are you? We've... Well, I, th I don't think we can do much else. So I'll speak okay. for the motion if you like. Okay, thank you, Councillor Sanderson. Uh, thank you, Mr. Bear. Look, I have a number of concerns uh, with the uh, layout of this report in particular. Uh, we seem to have a number of items which appear to be repeated at different points uh, in the report. Uh, and the other difficulty is we've got a whole string of uh, items where we just simply have this uh, uh, symbol to say that they're on track. Uh, on the, but on the other hand, we, we, from the information provided in the report, uh, we don't have a completion date or the percentage uh, of the work that it's going to complete or any other mean, or a lot of the time there isn't the means to understand how far we are progressing. And we do have a huge number of uh, uh, items on this list that are in that class. Um, and I mean, there are plenty of that I could allude to. I could, you know, flicking through the uh, report. Um, the, uh, you know, one, one is, uh, you know, with, with website, obviously that's a very much an ongoing process, but uh, I mean, I've pointed out there are a number of things that I think need to uh, be uh, placed uh, on the, the website, uh, but we, we don't have those, uh, uh, any sort of detail about what it is we, we're actually tracking toward. Uh, another one that I've, Picked up a yeah, significant tree register. Uh, I'd like to know a bit more about the process uh, because I don't think it's uh, right that we're waiting until 2022 in order you know, to accumulate a lot of information before we act. I think this has got to be a progressive matter given the state of tree removal in the, uh, the municipality so that we continue to get uh, an ongoing process getting more and more trees onto that register. Uh, in terms of um, the, the flood study, uh, I'm unsure where that rests at the present time. I thought that was supposed to come back to council in October uh, uh, in order to, to uh, uh, ensure that we got the, uh, the funding that we, uh, uh, that we uh, are eligible to, given that we have done the, that report. Um, there are other issues. Uh, we get an indication that... Uh, the, the project in Mary Street is in, in track. Now, does that take account of the fact that we've got a defect there that needs to be rectified in as much as we've got a ponding of water at the, uh, at the western end of that uh, pedestrian crossing? Uh, when, when will that be rectified? I think uh, that, that certainly needs to be part of the, uh, the ongoing project. Uh, character statements, another one of great concern to me. Uh, we, this is something we really need to, get, need to get moving with. This is holding us back in terms of, uh, um, you know, what we're able to achieve in the, uh, the protection of our heritage. Uh, the encouraging things like, you know, uh, flagging the uh, DCP uh, uh, amendments to uh, get a better policy on, or better policy on uh, tree replacements and so on. Uh, items where we don't have no dessert data. I don't know anything about uh, the orchard at... Uh, uh, at Vienna Cottage. I don't think I've missed anything in the reports. Then we get to Valencia Street. Uh, we've got a project there that was uh, by and large uh, completed, in fact, in, in course, you know, without the cooperation of council, but the project was actually carried out by Transdev. Uh, but we're left down there with uh, roads that are in uh, poor, a very poor state, footpaths on the western side that are also in a poor state. I believe there's an arrangement with Transdev to assist us in those repairs. This is not detailed in that report. I think we really need a lot more detail. We need timelines and we need, uh, um, you know, 
I, I think uh, there needs to be a lot more in these reports, and I think we also need to do something to uh, clarify the, the uh, uh, or make sure the, the issues that, we, that we're putting together are actually re related. We seem to have be talking about um, uh, sustainability at one stage, and we jump to um, Bushland Management Advisory Committee. And you know there are other things like this uh, uh, internal sustainability uh, working committee uh, which I hadn't heard of before. So um, I think the, this report does need a, a bit more explanation. It could probably concentrate more. There probably is a lot of stuff that could be left out of it for the future. So I think uh, uh, you know I'm happy to vote for acceptance of the re report, but uh, I think we need to you know consider a bit how this information can be better presented to council in the future. Thank you, Councillor Sanderson. Um, General Manager, you would like to make a comment. I would. Thank you, Mr Mayor. Just um, a few points for the benefit of, of the councillors in relation to Councillor Sanderson's points. Um, and I'll, I'll just respond to them. Um, the repetition, and you're, you're correct, Councillor Sanderson, there is quite a bit of repetition in the report. And that's because what we're reporting on is what is in the operational plan and the delivery plan. So our intention is we need to prepare a new delivery plan, an operational plan next year following the election, and we will fix up some of the, rep the repetitive nature of what's in the operational plan then. But at the moment, that's, that's what's in our adopted operational plan. So we, unfortunately, at this point, that's how we need to report. In terms of um, data and deadlines, it's important to note that this is as at the 30th of September. So we're 12 weeks into the year um, and working through that. So there might be things that have happened in October um, that aren't covered in this report because it is to the 30th of September. Um, the point about some of the actions being ongoing, that is correct, and the example being the website. So in the review of the operational plan and delivery plan for 21 moving forward, we'll be reformatting the operational plan. So we put the ongoing actions in a different section to projects and make that delineation very clear. Um, I'll leave the significant tree register for the director um, planning to talk through. Um, with the flood study, that um, one of the briefings we raised that because the council deferred the flood study, we need to go back and have further conversations with the Department of Planning or DPI, and that has occurred. Um, the acting director will be bringing back an update on the draft flood study, but we have negotiated an extension to that um, to the grant funding, so that's not in, in jeopardy, and we. Um, we have, a, I believe, a way forward to bring back to the councillors that will address the concerns. when. Penny? Honey, do you have some cordless headphones? I can't get onto my Zoom for council. I can't. Um, Elizabeth, you're not on mute. You are now. Okay. Um, with Mary Street, um, again, the, the report was based on the end of September um, as opposed to now. The Mayor has raised the issue with the ponding that has occurred with the pedestrian um, crossing. And we've looked at the previous Google Maps um, mapping from 2019, pre the work being done, and there was some pooling at that time, taking on board that, yes, we should have um, addressed that as part of the works, and the Acting Director is addressing that at the moment. The character statements at the briefing that we just had before this council meeting, um, the director did touch on that and um, did advise that um, they're currently underway and he may wish to also add to that when we get to the significant tree. Um, tree replanting, we just discussed that in the briefing um, in terms of looking at a, a planting schedule. Um, Valencia Street, um, the acting director is working with um, the contractors if um, there were, if there, if you may wish to con um, make comment on the damage to our, our roads as associated with the work. Um, however, it was a good outcome in terms of the wharf upgrade and um, a, a good community outcome. And I'm sorry, Councillor, I missed the comment about the sustainability working group. Would you mind just refreshing me what that was? 
Uh, well, the, 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 I think there is an item, I, I probably can't find it at this point in time, where the in the, in the left-hand column we're talking about the sustainability working group, but all the actions seem to be related to uh, bushland uh, management. And then another points in the report, I there's a reference to uh, an internal uh, working group or internal sustainability working group, which seems to be a little bit differently directed, uh, about which I've had no previous information. So uh, that I, I think we need a little bit of uh, clarification on. We, we can um, certainly go back and check those comments. The sustainability working group is a, a short-term action group that a number of the councillors are on. Um, that are developing a sustainability action plan. And we'll check that the comments have aligned correctly with the actions in the operational plan. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Okay. Any further comments? Oh, any further? Anybody wanting to speak against the motion? Anybody else for the motion? Before we go to the um, uh, address and reply. Um, I'd just like to also uh, suggest that we may need, or we do need to maybe incorporate some of those issues raised by Councillor Sanderson in terms of the structure of it for our next uh, report, uh, which will be the first quarter in next year. Um, we may need to, maybe Councillor Sanderson, if you could forward those to the general manager and we could maybe have a discussion about how we can uh, improve on what we're doing. Uh, back to uh, Councillor Miles, uh, reply, mover and reply. Happy to move no. up. Please. Okay. I now move the motion. All those in favour? Against? I assume, Councillor Presley, that was a, um, a for or against? We can't see you because of your uh, screen. Could you let us know verbally? Thanks, Mr. Mayor. Yeah, that's a four. I, I'm just messaging the GM trying to get in on a laptop. It's too difficult this way. So, but yes, okay. four. Thank you. Right, well, we'll make sure we consult with you before we uh, finalise motions. Okay, that's unanimous. Yep. Uh, we we'll now move on to the next item, which is 4.2, and Councillor Miles has his hand up to the motion. Is there a seconder? Councillor Collins. Do you wish to speak to your motion, Councillor Miles? Uh, yes, thank you, Mr Mayor. Um, uh, obviously, something that's been brought to Council a couple of times, I think this is a good option of what, um, what the staff have come up with here. Uh, essentially, it just allows um, a, a bespoke solution for village bars. Could I just ask through you to the general... Um, I think, uh, Councillor Miles, you've skipped... Uh, we're on 4.2, which is oh. the quarterly budget review. Oh, well, no, I have. Sorry. I'm happy to move that as well. OK. Is there a seconder to that motion, Councillor Collins? Uh, Councillor Miles, you wish to speak to that motion? Uh, no, pretty straightforward, Mr Mayor. Um, uh, went through this in some detail over the weekend, but no, happy to... to OK. Move. Uh, does anybody wish to speak against the motion? For the motion? Um, I'd just like to make a request. In the charts that are in the report, it'd be useful to have the benchmark, the industry benchmark, so we can see how we're tracking against that. Um, mover in reply, Councillor Miles? No? Nope? Okay. I now put the motion. All those in favour? Against? Declare that carried unanimously. We now move on to 4.3, which I think was the Woolwich Bar and the um, in the Sailing Club issue. So, Councillor Miles, you wish to move that? Is there a seconder? Councillor Cressoy, do you wish to speak to your motion, Councillor Miles? Sorry for jumping the gun before, Mr. Mayor. Um, it's okay. Uh, yeah, no, as I was saying, um, I think this is a good solution that the staff have come up with. Uh, coming up with a, a bespoke solution for the baths. And then um, obviously the sailing club have for some time asked for uh, the allowance or the provision of CCTV cameras because they've had uh, a couple of incidents down there. So I'm um, just wanting to ask through you to the general manager. Um, have, we've, we've engaged obviously with the sailing club through this process and they're happy to, to proceed on this basis as outlined in the recommendation. Yeah. General Manager. Yeah. Um, 
Yes, indeed. The manager placed some projects and myself met with um, a representative from the sailing club and they were very happy with the, the proposal. Good, excellent. And um, uh, also, I guess, as part of the recommendation, I know that you, you have um, come up with a schedule of uh, rangers um, patrolling um, the baths particularly, which is which I think is fantastic. It just means that um, that area that's you know, can be quite quiet down there, but there are a lot of people obviously um, patronise the venue during summer. It just means that there's that sort of extra level of, of, uh, of security, uh, I guess, for, for those that are down there, which is important. Can I ask a question of the general manager? Um, in the report, it talks about a cost for the bars, but it says poll not included. Um, is what's, what's the story there? Are we going to have to install a poll or are we putting it on an existing poll? Mr. Mayor, I'll ask the director for uh, finance and corporate strategy to comment. Uh, the corporate strategists who collected the quotes. Um, essentially, uh, you can mount the device on other um, objects, but there's also an option then to also purchase a pole separately. Uh, so um, that's essentially the information that was collected through the quotation process. Okay. Uh, Councillor Miles, you've got a question? Sorry, again, through Mr Mead to the general manager. Um, noting that this is a temporary um, situation uh, that can be used through summer, which is great. Do we, um, uh, we, we're obviously able to move this this camera to another location during, let's say, Mugabula Festival setup, or you know, we could we this, this camera will be able to be used for other council purposes as well when it's not being used during the summer months. Um, through Mr. Mayor, that, that is correct, and um, I think. Oh, sorry, that might be touched on in the report as well, that we, we are able to move to other locations. Um, other councils will use mobile cameras um, to monitor dumped rubbish and look at those sites. So it gives us some flexibility over time to be more responsive to community needs as they come up. Okay, any speakers against the motion? For the motion, Councillor Sanderson? Well, first, I've got a question, if I could, uh, through you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I asked a question earlier about the uh, ongoing costs. We've got an installation cost. I believe it's going to be quite light, but uh, could I get confirmation uh, that was going to be researched, I think, before the meeting about the, uh, the ongoing cost of uh, the installation at Woolwich? General Manager? Through you, Mr. Mayor, to the Director of Finance and Corporate Strategy. Uh, yeah, so I, I believe in the report it contains a reference to the CCTV being stored for 30 days, but then after that, um, it's no longer stored after that. Is there any cost involved with that? The quote includes the 30 days, but if we okay. wanted to continue the storage, it would be more. Okay, no, that's fine. All right, I'm, I'm happy to, or we, if I can speak briefly in favour, uh, I'm happy to support that. We have some information ahead of, uh, in front of us. Are you speaking for the motion or are you finished? Well, uh, that was just my spread. Uh, okay. Anybody wish to speak against the motion? Any further speakers for the motion? Councillor Collins. Uh, just briefly, I, I think this is a, a fantastic solution. I, I didn't think of this, but having a mobile camera would be um, make it quite versatile. Um, is it possible that we'll be able to get this up and running for this summer? General Manager. I'm sorry, through you, Mr. Mayor. Yeah. Sorry, I'm through you, Mr. Mayor. That's the intention. So because it is mobile, it's a, a quite a, a simple process. Fantastic. Great job. I would assume seeing it's mobile, we'll be able to secure it. Careful. Yeah. Um, any further speakers uh, for or against? If not, right of reply, Councillor Miles. Not necessarily, Mr. Mayor. Okay, I'll now put the motion. All those in favour? Against? Declare it carried unanimously. We now move on to the next item, which is item 4.4, which is uh, the roads, uh, the traffic uh, committee report. Is there a move up? Councillor Collins, Councillor Crassoy, the seconder. Uh, you wish to speak to the motion, Councillor Collins? Uh, no. 
No. Okay. Any other speakers for or against? Councillor Sanderson, are you speaking for or against? I, I'll speak for the motion, Mr Mayor, but I wonder whether we could uh, uh, put a, a very small amendment to it. And that is, it's very clear in the location where the no stopping is required at the Bend and Reby Road uh, that uh, the uh, solid yellow uh, side line marking would be more appropriate than signage because there are some quite narrow footpaths in that area. That have yeah, you're speaking, you're speaking to your amendment. Uh, what, what is the wording of your amendment, please? Well, the, the amend, well, I'm, I guess I was asking the question as whether the amendment would be appropriate. But I guess the amendment would uh, read that uh, with respect to uh, 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 the uh, change in traffic uh, move or conditions in uh, Ruby Road, that the uh, uh, no stop or no stopping uh, area at the bend in Ruby Road be implemented using uh, solid yellow. Uh, side line marking. Which does that relate to two or three or is that an additional five? That would relate to, well it, it, it's, it's within the report Mr Mayor. Um, but you can't, we can't rewrite the report but what we can do is resolve to um, uh, take a different path and therefore we'd go back to that committee for consideration. So if you wish to move the adoption of the report, but um, in relation to that particular matter, you wish for consideration of data, uh, uh, then you can do that. Mr. If I could, Mr. Mayor, my understanding is that uh, the method of implementation is, is not a matter that uh, needs to go before the local traffic committee. That can be determined by staff. So, I mean, I'm, I'm happy for them to go through yep. and, and we've had this discussion to say that uh, that the, uh, the preferred method there for the implementation would be uh, the, um, uh, you know, that it's be done by solid yellow was line marking. That's why I opened the discussion in that manner. Uh, General Ready? Manager, is that okay for us to... Uh... Mr. Mayor, can I um, just clarify with Councillor Sanderson, the traffic committee resolved that's on page two of the minutes um, on the 17th of September. There's a, a four point resolution. Are you suggesting that that four point resolution of the traffic committee should be varied in any way? It doesn't need to be varied. This is just an additional detail because they've talked about uh, no stopping zones. They haven't. Uh, made any suggestion as how they be implemented. My understanding is that implementation is a matter normally for staff. Uh, I would just like to uh, you know, clarify that the preferred method of res by residents in that area would be that that be implemented by uh, solid yellow uh, side line marking rather than by signage or, or by signage on posts. Yes. Are you moving no. that as an amendment to the council's motion as opposed to the minutes? Yes, it can be amendment to the council's motion as, a, as what I suggested. The council's so, motion that we have before us is the recommendation is that the minutes and the recommendations of the local traffic committee held on the similar system to be adopted. Are you yes. moving an amendment to that? Yes, just sim simply that uh, if we want to re reword it to go into that particular recommendation, we say that... Uh, uh, council request that uh, the uh, uh, no st stopping signs at the bend in Reby Road be implemented using solid yellow uh, side line marking. Is there a seconder to the amendment? Councillor Crassoy, is the mover of the motion uh, willing to accept that? Uh, no, Mr Mayor. Um, my understanding is that's that's a decision for staff. It shouldn't be. We should not be fiddling with this here. This has come back and forth between the local traffic committee. If if uh, yellow white lines is which I, my understanding is that that's what we're sort of doing anyway, where it's appropriate. Uh, if it's appropriate, I'm sure staff will do that anyway, because I, I understand that's that's the approach we're taking. But if it's not, they need to be able to do what's what's safe. So absolutely not messing with this. It's completely inappropriate. 
I think they'll end up being yellow white lines, but that's decision for operations. So that's not accepted. <coughs> no. Now, no, okay, so we'll do with the um, amendment. Uh, Councillor Sanderson, there was to speak to your amendment. Uh, do we have, we have Councillor Crasso a second? Yes. Uh, look, Mr Mayor, I don't think there's a lot to be said. I mean, uh, I've had close contact with the people there. Uh, there are issues such as uh, the, a very narrow footpath on the eastern side of the road. Uh, it's quite overgrown. And uh, if you go putting um, uh, extra uh, signposts there, you're either going to narrow the footpath or get in the way of uh, vehicles that are attempting to park there. Uh, and the other thing is, I mean, it's quite a, uh, uh, an attractive area of Hunters Hill. The last thing I think we want to be doing is uh, uh, cluttering it up with uh, more signage, if that can be possibly avoided, particularly where, you know, some of that signage will be uh, directly beside people's driveways. So I think it's, uh, you know, it's an eminently sensible uh, way to do this. And uh, I think this is the, you know, part of the, uh, 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 you know, the, the, the thrust we had back in the early in the term of this council about, uh, you know, uh, reducing signage where possible and uh, and substituting the uh, line marking. And it is absolutely appropriate in that area. There's not a lot of gathering of uh, leaves or anything to obstruct them. So it is an ideal solution. Okay, any further speakers against the amendment? Councillor Collins. Um, first, can I ask a question of the general manager? Um, when you're deciding whether or not to put signs in or, or yellow white lines, would you do a risk assessment? Three. General Manager. Three, Mr Mayor, I will um, ask the Director of Service Delivery to respond to that because I'm not an engineer, um, but I would assume so. Um, Director? Uh, yes, through you, uh, Mayor, it's normal to do a risk assessment on all of our activities. Uh, so for anything... Uh, uh, of that nature, we would uh, do a, a, a risk assessment as a routine procedure. Okay. And my understanding is that the council's policy, this preference is to have white line, uh, the yellow lines over these signs. Is that uh, correct through you, Mr Mayor, to... Um, General Manager. Mr Mayor, that, that has been a, a resolution of the council or a desire of the council to minimise visual clutter in our streets, yes. So if we pass this as it, as it um, originally is... You're speaking against... Uh, I will now speak against, yes. Mm -hmm. um, if we pass this as it originally was, I think there's a... a it's, it's highly likely, according to policy and assuming the risk assessment is, um, comes out favourable, that we'll end up having yellow, white lines there. Um, but that's an operational decision, and I'm not going to make that decision whether it's a sign or yellow, white lines without having a risk assessment. See, that's, that's what governance is. We don't make these decisions on, a fly, on the fly or out of preference. We all prefer the yellow white lines. Um, the, the motion allows that to happen if that's appropriate. But if it's not for some reason, um, I don't want this to be decided by us without having any risk assessment or whether or not it's appropriate simply on a whim. That's completely inappropriate. That is not governance, that is getting involved in operations and we cannot make a decision that involves, uh, that, that basically without a risk assessment and, you know, it, it's, it's completely inappropriate. So I would, I would just uh, I'll vote against the motion, let it go as, as it originally was, uh, and I think we'll end up seeing yellow white lines there. But we're not going to force Okay, it. thank you, Councillor Collins. Any further speakers for the amendment? Against? Right of reply? Not necessary, Mr Mayor. Put the, put the amendment, all those in favour? Against? Declare it lost. We now move back to the original motion. Um, any further debate on that? If not, right of reply. No. Nope. Put the motion, all those in favour? Against? Declare it carried. We now move to item 4.5, which is to do with the uh, council resolutions. Is there a motion in regard to that? 
Move it, Councillor Collins, second Councillor Miles. Is there any, uh, do you wish to speak to your motion, Councillor Collins? Any further discussion? If not, I'll put the motion, all those. Oh, sorry, Councillor Crossley, I've missed you down there, sorry. Thank you. you I just wanted to ask against? the question. Thank you. Uh, I just wanted to ask the question, actually, um, if there are some motions that I don't see in this report, Gen is through you, Mr. Mayor, is the general manager happy for me to just email her offline and hopefully see them in the next council meeting? General manager? Through Mr. Mayor, yes, thank you, Councillor Presley. Okay, uh, that concludes debate. Uh, I'll put the motion, all those in favour, against? Declare it carried unanimously. We now move on to the next item, which is 4.6, which is the um, development applications deferred de delegated authority in September 2020. Uh, mover is Councillor McLaughlin, seconder is Councillor Miles. Councillor McLaughlin, you wish to speak to your motion? Not necessary, Mr. Mayor. Is there any further debate in relation to the motion? Councillor Sanderson, you wish to speak for or against? Uh, I'll speak for Mr. Mayor. Yes. Uh, look, I'm very happy to support the uh, the uh, adoption of the of this uh, uh, or the recommendation. I do, however, note that uh, at, there is a uh, approval removal matter which uh, commences on uh, page 118 of our uh, uh, business paper, goes over to 119. Again, we see the removal of a, a significant tree in a an Italian Cyprus and its uh, replacement with a Banksia or a Magnolia. Again, I stress that to uh, emphasise the urgency we, we need to uh, uh, improve DCP so that there is a, 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 a policy about uh, replacing trees of uh, a similar size. Thank you, Councillor. Yep, I share that view. Um, is there any further debate in relation to the matter? to say that it's pleasing to see that we're going to get an ATM at the overpass. I think that's much needed. Um, if there's no further debate, I'll put the motion. All those in favour? Against, declare it unanimous. We now move to investments as at the 30th of September 2020, item 4.7. We have a mover in Councillor Miles and seconded by Councillor Collins. Is there any debate? Do you wish to speak to your motion? No. Uh, further, any speakers? If not, I'll put the motion. All those in favour? Against, declare it carried. That brings us to 4.8, the School Safety Committee. Uh, Councillor Collins, you wish to move that recommendation? Councillor Crasso, you're seconding that. You wish to speak to your motion, Councillor Collins? You're on mute, Councillor Collins. Sorry. Um, just briefly, and uh, I would um, uh, like to make, uh, just um, if I can ask a question, first of all, um, the, with, the, with the membership, and I'm not sure um, uh, through you, Mr Mayor, to the General Manager, um, I wonder if we could get the uh, Traffic Sergeant as a member as well, um, invite... I just think that would, um, Sergeant Adderfield does a terrific job down there and it's great if she could be aware of all the things that are going on. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure if... Um, Do you I'm want sure. that question answered first? Yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah. Gentlemen. Um, is that... I'm through you, Mr. Mayor. No, not a problem, Councillor. We actually did take them on there, but it appears they might have dropped off under membership. So thank you. Okay, so adopting this motion will formally include that in the um, uh, terms of reference. Um, and the only other, the only other um, thing before we um, pass it, I wrote on it, um, is that I, I see you've got representatives from DET, and there's not. I, I imagine this isn't a, a, a needs any quorum um, because I, I'm not sure if a Department of Education training. Um, well, I'm not sure whether they really um, within their scope, but I'm fine to have them there. But we're not going to have any quorum issues, are we? Like, it doesn't have... Uh, general manager, and then I know Councillor McLaughlin wants to have a word. Um, through, through Mr Mayor, I, I know there's been a discussion about it, it's more of a working group, but I would make a comment on the Department of Education and Training. 
Yeah. They recently uh, restructured and oh. they um, have a, a position that one of their key functions is to look at pedestrian or student um, safety around schools as well as traffic around schools and looking at both structural changes as well as behavioural, as well as how the schools may may work in terms of staggered um, start and finish times as well. Fantastic. So I think they'd make a valuable contribution, whether they're able to make every meeting, but certainly mm -hmm. make a valuable contribution. Fantastic. Uh, you had a question or you wish to speak for or against? Oh, well, I'm speaking in support of the motion, but I just had a question about its um, membership as well, and that is whether or not I know that the preschools are covered by the Child Services or the Children's Services Committee, but not specifically in relation to safety. Um, I know that both of our preschools, Riverside and Hunters Hill uh, Preschool, both have parent bodies similar to PNCs. And I'm just wondering if they should perhaps be included in that list as well. Is that possible, uh, General Manager? Through you, Mr Mayor, if the council would like to include the preschools and perhaps the long daycare centre. Mm -hmm. that, Does the mover and seconder are happy with that to be incorporated in terms of reference as part of the motion? Yes, okay, that's now incorporated. Any Thank further you. discussion, Councillor Miles? Sorry, Mr. Mayor. I'd also like to obviously, uh, um, going to point three, uh, nominate um, Councillor Collins as a councillor representative. Um, my other question, I guess, is um, that it says councillor to chair the committee. Uh, my understanding is the committees elect the chair at their first meeting. Um, is that, I don't know if we're happy with that or or whether it will just be elected by the uh, um, at the first meeting of the committee? Normally it's appropriate if a councillor is on the committee that they um, chair the committee. Yeah. Um, so if there's two councillors uh, on the committee, then the committee can then select between those two councillors. If there's no councillors, then it would be selected from the beginning. Um, so you've moved an amendment that uh, Councillor Collins be the representative. Is there any further councillors wishing to be involved? Councillor Sanderson, uh, you nominated yourself. No, I wasn't going to nominate myself, uh, Mr Mayor, but I supported Councillor uh, Crassoy in a motion uh, which related to uh, Council developing active uh, transport model uh, for community uh, targeting schools, uh, transport hubs and uh, villages. So. I wonder whether uh, Councillor Crassoy might be interested. I think it'd be a role would be quite appropriate for her. Councillor Crassoy, are you interested in the role? Yes. Oh, yeah, very much, Mr Mayor. I think it'd be a really interesting committee to be on and, and um, excited about the idea of a strategy that straddles the whole suburb with everyone working together, um, particularly around as active transport as well as safety. So, no, I'd love to, love to okay. be part of that committee. Thanks, Councillor uh, Sanderson. As, as we have two nominations, any further nominations? I think it's probably appropriate that we take a vote on who we want as the uh, uh, nominee. Uh, so, Mr. Mr. Mayor, wouldn't that be just, as it says in the Charter, the committee would decide on the at the first meeting. I think that's appropriate. No, no, no. We're deciding on who is going to be on the committee. Oh, whoever wants yeah, to. Is there, is there any reason why we couldn't have two, two councillors on there? Uh, well, it says, is, is that an eternal reference that we can have two? Yep. Okay. Yes, we can have two. So uh, are both councillors happy to participate? I'm yes. Sorry. Okay. So we include both their names as nomina nominations to the committee, and it'll be up to the committee to decide who of the two will be the chair. So with any further discussion, Great initiative. So I put the motion. All those in favour? Against? Declare it carried. Uh, that concludes the formal part of the business. I've just got one general um, business item, which I'd just like to quickly uh, put before Council. It relates to additional grant funding from the Federal Local Roads and Community Infrastructure Program. You would have seen in the bulletin um, a letter from uh, Mr. Trent Zinnerman, MP, local member, oh, sorry, federal member for North Sydney, 
advising council that has been um, uh, uh, given an extra 455733 under that program as an additional allocation. So uh, I'd like to, to formally um, move that uh, the Mayor write to Mr Zin uh, Trent Zinnerman, MP, to thank him for his letter of the 16th of December of October 2020, advising Council of additional funding for 455 1,733 under the program. Part two would be the mayor and the general manager meet with Mr. Zinnerman to appraise him of projects to be um, included in the program as a result of the additional funding. Uh, that's there. Is there a um, seconder to that? Councillor Miles, uh, I've moved it. Councillor Miles is seconding it. Any discussion? Great opportunity for council. I'll put the motion, all those in favour, against. I can't see everybody, but, um, but just again, I'm looking at another screen. All those in favour, against, declare it carried unanimously. If there's no further business, questions without notice can be submitted up until midday tomorrow um, for inclusion in the business paper, because we can't hand them up in person. So please send them in in the tight format and uh, they'll be included in, in the business uh, minutes. Okay, that brings us to the end of the meeting. So I thank you for your attendance this evening and um, look forward to our next meeting. I might add that uh, the way COVID is going, um, we will be looking to maybe, or not looking to have the next meeting face-to-face -face and probably using the YARN, the new council, facility, library, um, come community facility up at the overpass as a possible venue. So anyway, we'll see how we progress over the next couple of weeks and that will determine um, where we sit in terms of a face-to-face -face meeting. So again, I now declare the meeting closed and thank you for your attendance. Thank you. Goodbye, everyone.